Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Hockey Night in Canada, VIP Hockey. And, uh, yo, I'm super excited. Here in episode four, we have the Oshawa Generals going to be going up against the Regina Pats with our all-star player, Mikey Picard. Now, back in episode two with uh, the Victoriaville Tigers, Mikey Picard was able to get a beautiful hat trick. Is he going to be able to get another in this game? He's one of the leading scorers in the league this year. So, uh, I'm, you know, I'm expecting big things. One of these two teams is going to be going into the finals. Super excited to see this game. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Enough of me talking. Y'all didn't come here to hear me talk. Let's get into it. Let's go. The following is a presentation of Hockey Night in Canada in association with the National Hockey League. Brought to you by Molson Canadian. Enough of that stuff. Let's play hockey. Good evening, everybody. Danny Gallagher and I will give you a little bit of a cozy and beautiful broadcast spot. here talk about oh we got to get the first goal well somebody's not going to get it that doesn't mean the game's over but i think it's really important to try and play the game at the pace you want to play these two teams don't play the same style and we are about set to drop the puck on this one puck is dropped we're underway give me a sense of what something a win here can do for the kids well, of course, if from a team standpoint, you win the Memorial Cup individually, those players that are draft eligible, they can change their draft status. Those that are already drafted, they can maybe change the way the team that drafted them thinks about them. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Let's the wrister fly. That's off a stick. Now a quick pass to Walker. Shot! And that's blocked away. Regina's got control of the puck. And that's deflected. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Works it across to Sonny. Regina's got a hold of the puck now. They sure are running out of gas here, James. This shift is endless. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Made that stop. Wrist shot from the slot. Puck picked up by Moore. The Generals play it along the boards. Cut into the front of the net. Takes control of the puck. Massier's gaining momentum. Maintains possession. Here he is with the backhander. That opportunity is rejected. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that's poked away. Sonny's got it along the boards. Unleashes a cannon! Regina's got possession of the puck. 
Quick feed to Massier. Slides the puck ahead to Chorney. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. To the front! Oh, and that goes awry. Man, they create the scoring chance, and it's a good one, but they don't get it on the net. Oshawa's playing it through the neutral zone. Takes that pass back at the point. And that one's broken up. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves it to Massier. Turned aside by the goaltender. Oh, wow, stops him again. Sonny's got it into offensive territory. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Slides it across to Walker. And now it's over to Picard. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And there's the save. I like the way that he stops this. And he's going after him here. Well, that didn't take long. Yeah, early in the game, looks like each team trying to get an upper hand. Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. It's amazing how the energy in the building can seep away when your guy doesn't do so well in the fight. Yeah, you can hear a pin drop in this arena now. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Way too many of five-minute power plays just kind of fade into the ether. There's not enough urgency. They don't attack like they normally would on a two-minute power play. Moves the puck. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the Memorial Cup! Lots of talk about him coming into the tournament. Now he's on the board. He makes no mistake. And you can see why teams are excited about looking at this youngster. It's a really good shot, but the goaltender waves at it, doesn't get the glove on it, and it goes in. Regina's weathered the storm here, and they've taken a 1-0 lead. Always better to play from in front, and they'll want to expand this lead as quickly as they can. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Trying to engage a little physicality here. The Pats move it ahead. Picard's dangerous and he's got scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Back downstairs to ringside we go. It's Ray Ferraro standing by. I find it interesting, James, always when the game starts to get a little easy that the coach reminds the players, you've still got to work. He went right to his youngest players. These goals have piled up to not take a bath, to continue to drive and score more. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Regina's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Pats have it now. Dishes it to Picard. Oshawa's moving it into the offensive end. Handles the puck. Turns it away. The Pats will play it in their own end. Puts it on net. And that one's turned away. Battling for it along the boards. Great read with the stick. Oshawa's got it now. Fantastic save! Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. And that pass can't connect. All right, while well, we have a quick second, let's bring in our third member of the broadcast crew, our own Carlin Bay. Thank you, James. The energy in this building is so intense right now. It's the Memorial Cup final, and there's nothing like it. Fans are loving this rookie's performance. It's been electric in here all day. Even outside the arena, it was great as play rolls on. Receives the pass. 
And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Here's the chance to set up now. Quick pass to Tomasino. Regina's got it in the neutral zone. Here they come up along the wing. From the left side, takes it at center. Takes a wrist shot, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Slides it over with pace to Tomasino. Here's a short pass to Tulio. Stopped by the goaltender. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's a shot. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like a redo on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Picard's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Oshawa's got it in the defensive zone. Pitts taking it from his own end. Oshawa's moving it up the ice. Turns it over. Great poke check on the reach. The Generals take it along the wing. The Pats have it now. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Taken by Davinsky. And he makes the easy save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Here in the back half of this period, the Pats are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. Regina's won the faceoff. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Messier's got the puck. Battle along the boards. The Generals gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Stepier's going to play it against the half wall. Denies him with the pad. Takes the feed. Passes the puck over to Dabinsky. And now it's grabbed by Massier. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. McShane stick handling in his own zone. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the pad. And no luck on that pass attempt. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. He's got a step. And scores on the breakaway. Beautiful. He got out ahead of the pack. And now all that's left is to finish this great opportunity. And he does. Once he broke clear, he's got his head up. He reads the scene where the goalie is and beats him with the shot. The rookie's had a really good game, and he gets a little tap from the coach as he comes back to the bench. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty satisfying when you know the boss is happy with you. We've called his name multiple times. He's been all over the ice tonight. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Oshawa's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Takes the feed. The Pats have it from their own end. Regina's on the attack. Right up front. Denies him in close. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Pats have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Puck picked up by Pitt. And now he moves it to Tulio. Throws it on goal. Kicked away. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Regina's won the draw. They'll go to work. Denied by the defender. And he regains control of the puck. Centering pass. Rift shot from the slot. That's blocked by Cui. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Oshawa's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Pitt's got 
got the puck in his own zone. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. The Pats have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Regina's looking to break out. And the puck's booted away. Oshawa's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Penalty coming up. Quick whistle stops the play. You can see the obvious frustration. He's just taken his second penalty of this period. The Pats send their man advantage unit out once more. It's kind of nice if you have a power play goal already in the game, which they do. Make sure the confidence continues to build and you try and get another. Takes a shot. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. And they send it down the ice. The Pats gain possession. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Let's it go. And he makes the save. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Picard's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Great reach by Tulio. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Generals will kill off a few extra seconds now. The Pats gain possession along the wall. Picked off in the offensive end. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Brook. And makes the save. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. We got a whistle as the puck sails into the bench. McShane's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Jesus. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Takes the puck along the boards. Nice pass. Big time stop. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. Wow, did he hammer that? Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him and still goes in. Here in the late going to the frame. Regina's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. And play resumes as the puck is shot. Jesus setting up against the wall. Right in front with the shot. Denied with the blocker. Yeah, I hated when I missed chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. The Pats will play it from the defensive zone. Takes a wrist shot and offers up a little sweet chin music going high. The net's been four feet high for a hundred years. That one's been high since the 1920s. Tosses it to Mitchell. Moves it quickly over to Massier. Can't get it to go. Dubinsky's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Takes it into the slot. It's in. He scores. Just checking this out on the big board, but he didn't get enough of this to stop. Face off looming as both centers get into position. The Generals win it. Gains the zone through the middle. Right in front. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. 
Ennis gets a shot on goal there, forcing the goalie into a save, and he can get back to work here, James. He's been sitting over in the penalty box in that five-minute fighting major. Slapped away by the blocker. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Wrist went in front. Turned aside with the glove. Coey is going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed to cover there. The frozen miss gets dropped, and we are back underway here. Slides the puck over. The Generals move to the offensive zone. Moves it to Moore. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Pats take possession off the faceoff. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our Shoot to Win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting prize. Uh, Scotty Bowman, you know, you know, one of the greatest coaches in sports history. What can you say about him that hasn't already been said? Nine Stanley Cups. Uh, was he my favorite coach? I don't think so. Uh, I had this guy in youth hockey. Boy, he was really something. Do I look like a Do I look like a Nah. Well, why are you skating for me like huh? Well, he was more than just a coach. Uh, he was really a teacher. Work that puck. That's the way I like it. What the hell would you... You gonna let him stand in here like a... Hold it! Just because you look like the gimp don't mean you play like the gimp. Don't let him stand in here and punk you like you patting him on the legs. Give him the... Go on, man, shot! Be a bad motherfucker. Here you go. Let's go. There wasn't really a practice that went by that I didn't learn something new um, and useful. One, drop your glove. Two, catch the jersey. Three, over the head. And where I'm from, we call this the Inglewood Jack. What I say? Inglewood Jack. That's the way. Inglewood Jack. Yeah. Inglewood Jack. The guy was all about growth, uh, mental, physical, I mean, even spiritual. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. There's some coaches out there who, who are, you know, the tyranny of evil men. I tried myself to just be a shepherd. Inglewood Jack! In Inglewood Jack! At most, you know, maintain an air of cool. Get him, get him, get him. The name on the back, it's the name on the front. That's beautiful. Which makes you cherry. Yeah. yeah. Looks great. Cherry, yeah, thanks very much. Hey, okay, a couple of things here. First of all, at the end of the period, Dougie Hamilton has a penalty. Yeah, so Montreal Canadiens get a power play out of that little skirmish at the end. Yep. The water bottles. You haven't seen this. I don't think anybody has. Johnny Boychuk and Sean Thornton. Now, the difference is you can't confirm that he squirts it at PK. It sure, looks deliberate, but you don't, don't know it. that he wasn't just clearing Where the water bottle top. Yeah, who knows? He was on the bench. It's Boychuk, though. That was the first example. Where is it? I don't see okay, it. Okay, watch the water. There it is. Where? See the water? 
It's hard for you to see, but it's there. Ah, uh, you know, the boy chuck. And then uh, Sean got his finding, uh, but you didn't like it. I, I, but, but the thing is, that all you're doing is giving ammunition. I don't mind. It's kind of funny if he could be dangerous. So if he startles him and he goes uh, and blows out so a he, knee, he, all he did was to make fun of him. And what Therian says, hey, they're laughing at us. Gave him ammunition. You know, he, stupid. Anyhow, let's go. Right. Did give him ammunition because trail owned the period. Here's a little play. You're not working tonight. Watch this. This is one of their favorite. They get it back. They put it over. Not working. The guy's not there. Here it is again. He gets it, puts it over. It's not there. Then he gets it over, and he is there, unfortunately. And that's a play, and he's got that down pretty good. Which leads to Daniel Bouchard. Daniel Bouchard, he's in Quebec somewhere watching right now. He was a strange goaltender, but a good goaltender. He had a thing about his paddle on his uh, stick, and we used to laugh at him. Now watch where the goal goes in on Russ. Watch. Goes right underneath there, right? If he had a hand with Danny Bouchard and Danny somewhere saying, you, and this is what he had, and he had his paddle down, go ahead, get a little close up of that. If he had it like that, like Danny, wouldn't have went in. Danny, all those years, we used to make fun of you. You were right. Uh, Adam Oates in the pregame was saying something you agree with, Boston. Well, Boston is terrific in, at center ice. You call it neutral ice. It was always center ice. And what they do is clog it up, as you say. We say be there. Well, watch how Canadians get all of it. Like this, a little alley-oop. I never did do alley-oop uh, where it came from. Here it is again. You get it up again. And away you get it. You get a goal. You can't stand up there. It's perfect. And he does it again. Did it on uh, Tampa. Does it on anybody. That's kids. When you look up, practice that. Be careful at practice. Oh, when you do it, nobody's around. Get hit in the head or something like that. When you're in trouble, you look up. You just put it up like that. J.C. Tromley was the best. Go ahead. What, what's the story quick on alley-oop? No, what? I don't have time. I'll okay, be, uh, Jonathan uh, Taves then. <laughs> Jonathan Taves, four game winners, what a captain for Chicago. And this guy comes through. I remember, you, remember in, uh, when he was a junior, he was the same way. Imagine four game winners. I mean, a guy is unbelievable. And he, he just there, and he was having a little tough time there talking about him. He was hurt and stuff like that. One of my favorites, one of the guys. He does, you should see the work he does for charity and stuff like that. Beautiful. Uh, Derek Broussard and the New York Rangers have got it to seventh game. Now, in that 5-1 game, he got two goals, he got an assist, he was plus three, he led both teams in hits, and he left both teams in shots, and he's from Hull, Quebec, and he's terrific, nobody even knows he's around, and he's one of the favorites with New York. He's underappreciated as far as I'm concerned. And uh, Benoit Pouy on that line too, Don, we were talking yeah. now. So Sidney Crosby, uh, we'll see it again. Uh, what would you do if you're Dan Bilesmer of the Penguins? Well, I tell you one thing. I've been in a game a long time, and I've seen guys abused and hit and smashed. I have never, and Lemieux, Lemieux used to get it once in a while too, but nothing like this guy. I know he brought it on himself a little bit, but, he, mm -hmm. but this is unbelievable. But nobody steps in and nobody does it, protects him. Nobody helps him at all. I mean, this guy is, this guy is a superstar. You, you, He's the best player in the league. You're right about that, Don, because I think Brian Boyle tries to cut him a break, right? He doesn't just he doesn't smoke him. He yeah. doesn't just punch him. I mean, he, he just, does that. Yeah, but no, he doesn't when he it. comes in. And he did cross-check the guys coming like that. I mean, the, the thing is, nobody wants, I, you know, no, he's a superstar. And you watch Boyle, and I know I don't like that. I mean, it's stupid. That's the big thing of the water ball going now. He just got fined, by the way. And then, he just yeah, got yeah, nothing like that. But, you know, we got one here. I got to show you. A long time ago, Lemieux used to get abused. The Casparitis, I never, th you think Lemieux, after what he went through, go ahead and show it. Watch Casparitis mock Mario down. He does a little flip on that. I mean, you think he went through this stuff. He was a superstar. And, and not, nobody came to his rescue there. That is actually the outset of the instigator rule that year. Is, uh, yeah. So. And what happened is, and I'm not going through it again, you had tough, like Gretzky had a credit card. He could do anything he wanted. Semiko and McSorley, he could do anything he wanted. And the dum-dums put in that instigator rule, and there it is. The guy that everybody pays to see is knocked around and banged around. And it's all, it's not the freeze, this guy's, it was Gil Stein and the dummy governors that put it in. I didn't mean to go on that long. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, John Gibson, so, you know, that uh, Matt Fraser for Boston, all the American hockey leaders, how many times have you said it? But he comes up, Bruce says he's been playing in the A, he'll be good. Nor and was he? And this guy in the American Hockey League, they're only a step away. Now, when he makes all his team, what a gutsy move by uh, Boudreaux. And the reason he did it was because if he, if he puts Hiller in and they lose, they've got to put Gibson in the deciding game. He didn't want to do that. He put him in, and he was fantastic. But you know what, kids? Watch this here. Look at his pads 
And look at Price's pads, the Quick's pads. Look how thin they are. I really believe you, and what, or narrow they are. And look how thin they are. That's one of the reasons I believe he can move so good. And that's, and, but I have to tell you a story about, uh, about uh, uh, Bruce, other than that. And Rose used to ask me all the time when I was on the bench, why do you look at the back of the heads? And I couldn't tell her why. But we got it. This is when they had gone 20 games without, or 20, uh, without any shots on that. 20 minutes without a shot. And he's like, oh, I can't see it. So we're going to do it. Again. This is what I think of you guys. Now, look, he looks down the bench. And he says, is there anybody here can help me? Look, I, I look down. Is there anybody going to get a shot? No, I know. I, I don't see anybody. No, I don't see anybody. And I'm going to tell you, this is what I think of my team right now. And I tell you, sometimes on the bench, no, you're not going to show it? No, he no. threw his gum. That's too bad. Dave. All right, that's what I used to do when I'd get mad. I'd spit out my gum. Anyhow, they'd come back, and it was because of Gibson and because of Bruce Brudeau had the guts to put him in. Bruce Almighty on the Coach's Corner on Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. Coach's Corner and Don Cherry. Brought to you by Budweiser Red Lights. Making playoff goals brighter. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. The Generals get a hold of the puck off the draw. To the paint, and the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Wrists one big save by the goaltender watching that one. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Ray, you're between the benches. Are you picking up on any of this? Yeah, I, I thought a really good reminder here from the coach to his youngest player is that. You're at a point in the game where safety is better than a creative play. Make the right play the smart play. Keep the puck in front of you. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Regina's put on a smothering offensive performance. They lead it 5-0. Walker's moving the puck through his own zone. Handles the pass at center. And that's the hat-trick! Listen to this place! And here come the hats. I I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up, they used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. This is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick, he gets beat again. That's a nice shot. been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will in particular here in this second period. Puck grab by Ennis. The Pats take possession in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Pats played along the wing. Quick pass to Picard. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Takes a shot. Unstoppable! I love the way that he's in position and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Regina's got it in the offensive zone. Fails to find the open man. The Generals take it across the line. And now he tries to get it across to Picard. Out front! Oh, and it goes off the outside of the post! Regina's lead is so solid, that one's not going to matter much, I don't think. I know if I were shooting it, though, James, I would have wanted it to go in. He was totally locked in on that play. Ross, and they score! And some signs of life here on one end of the end of the bench. Well, you gotta dig in for anything positive you can. I mean, if I'm the goal scorer, I'm pretty pumped that I got on the board. But you look up at the big board and you realize you got a long way to go. The team's got 
to dig in a little bit here. Can you get another quick one? Can you get yourself in some way, shape, or form back in this game? Here's a short pass to Massier. Moves inside. Here's a chance. Denied by the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick feed to Massier. And that's picked off in front. Feeds the puck to Tulio. Moves it around along the half wall. Shot. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Takes a shot. That's gloved by Papasakis. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Oshawa's got possession here in their own end. Feeds the puck over to Sonny. Moves it to Tulio. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Picard. The Pats have been the better team all night long, and their positioning has been exceptional. They keep taking the puck away. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Pats win the draw. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Great heads up play with the stick by Picard. Regina's got the puck in the defensive end. The Generals have it in the offensive end. The Pats gain control of the puck. With some open space at center. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Nice save from point blank range. Denies him again. Papuksaka challenges and makes a save on a dangerous scoring chance. Made the stop on the play. Right spot, makes the double save. Positioning does it all. And now he moves it quickly to Sonny. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tomasino. And he slides it quickly to Stepien. The Generals take it along the wall. Chris one in close. Blocked in traffic. Regina's in transition. The Pats carried along the wall. Here's a chance. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. The Generals win it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to McShane. Nice zone entry from the middle. Takes it to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. McShane's won the draw. Point to point pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Oh, and another save! Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back to back stops. Oshawa's got the puck against the half wall. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Massier. Gaining steam here on the attack. Sends it over. Whoa. Scores! Excellent shot. He gets his stick into position to deliver the puck. Goalie thinks he's got most of it covered, which he does, but not enough. It's just inside the post. Regina's brought it tonight. They absolutely have dominated here, especially with the goal scoring. A bit faster, they played with more skill, and they are filling the net. What a fun night to play in. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Takes the feed from the left side. Oh, stick save and a butte. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Quick snap. Good look. Not a good result, though. 
Now they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good play to set up the chance, but nothing for it. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Oh, they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Pats have really opened things up here in the second. It's getting out of hand. They've run roughshod over their opponent here in this period. It seems like they're going to score every shift. Poked away in the defensive end. Moves it to Brook. Takes it to center. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Ennis carries the puck in his own zone. The Generals are in transition. Couldn't complete the pass. Jabs the puck away. Regina's got it along the wall. Quick pass to Picard. Denies him in front. Grabbed along the board by Brook. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. And that's knocked away by Moore. The Pats looking against the half wall. Poked away by Stepien. Looks to get the puck over to McShane. Great reach with the poke check. Regina's got it in their own zone. Here's a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Oshawa's got a hold of it along the wall. Stepien's got it in the offensive end. The Pats play it along the boards. Read perfectly with the stick at center by Sonny. The Pats scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Chorney. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. He scores! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Pats' offensive onslaught continues in the back half of the second. They're not showing any signs of letting off the gas pedal here. This has been a dominant performance. Oshawa's got it against the boards. Great pressure with the stick. The Pats take it along the wall. Oshawa's gained possession along the boards. The Generals get a hold of it. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Chorney's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Denied that one. Patrusaki's off to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Generals get a hold of the puck in their own end. And that's knocked away. Centering pass in front. And it's turned aside by Papasakis. Sonny's lugging the puck. With possession along the wall. Regina's got the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Tulio. And there's the save. Looking to set up offensively. Oshawa's got it in their own zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Let's it go from the slot. Ross has it and freezes the play. The Pats win the draw. Feed to Picard. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Regina's looking to break out of their own end. Now he takes it over the line. A chance! He scores! Sometimes it's just your night. He's got his second goal of the game. This is a good evening for him.
He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. Regina's refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning, and they have piled it on here in the middle frame. Oshawa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Sonny. Feeds it to Tomasino. Into the attacking end. Moves it quickly over to Tulio. Ross gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Pats win the draw. Taken along the wall by Mitchell. Harrison's exploring options with the puck. Takes the pass. Comes up with the stop. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Cutting to the slot. And that shot dies in traffic. Taken by McShane. And they keep the pressure on. Scores! Finally! Yeah, James, for the first time in a while, there's a little life on their bench. Maybe this can turn the tide a little bit. Oshawa's back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal, try and get another, try and get yourself within shouting distance. Hammers it! What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow! Oshawa's won the draw. Block. And that snapped away in the defensive end by Mitchell. Picked up along the boards by Massier. The Pats have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dubinsky. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Takes the puck behind the net. The Pats have it from the corner. Great reach with the poke check by McShane. Moves the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Poked away in the offensive end. Denies him! Scrum ensues along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Pats move it ahead. And that's poked away by Valati. Harrison's got it along the boards. Back to the blue line. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Handles the puck. Receives the pass. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Canada presents me, Peter Puck, your irrepressible imp of the ice, and exciting NHL hockey. At this time, I'm going to talk about timing, equipment, officials, and players. Hey, cool it, fellas. I got something to say. Howdy, fans. Peter Puck here to lay some facts on you about hockey, the world's fastest team sport. Now, the playing time of a hockey game is 60 minutes composed of three 20-minute periods, separated by two 15-minute intermissions. Now, to begin with, before the game even starts, I'm given a deep freeze. Ooh! That's to take a little of the bounce out of my hard rubber body. By doing the game, would you believe, I travel around this rink at speeds over 100 miles an hour. And that's pretty fast for a little guy measuring one inch thick by three inches wide. <laughs> now, let's look at our field of play. It's called a rink, and not a rinky-dink rink either. 200 feet long and 85 feet wide. Almost large enough to contain four basketball courts. The wooden sides of the rink are referred to as... What else? The boards. And above the boards, there's shatterproof glass. 
See what I mean? Beneath that ice are the markings we call the center red line and the two blue lines dividing the rink into a middle neutral zone and offensive and defensive zones. At each end are the goal lines with the goals themselves. They are four feet high and six feet wide. That rectangle before the goal is called the crease and only the goalie is allowed there unless I happen to slip in, and then it's fair territory for anybody. Whoa, hey, wow, hey, watch it, hey, wow! These circles and dots are used for face-offs. That's starting play. These are the players' benches and separate penalty boxes. Now about the officials. There is a referee, two linesmen, and two goal judges, plus some clock watchers and a scorekeeper. The referee in the striped shirt and orange armbands is the boss. He's in charge. He starts the game, calls the penalty, lays down the law, and his decision in all disputes is final. The referee is assisted in his work by two linesmen. Same kind of uniform, but no armbands. The linesmen determine offsides, icing, some penalties, face-offs other than center ice. And they control conduct on the ice. No fighting is permitted, and offenders are removed from play. The penalty timekeeper keeps track of the player's time in the sin bin. Uh, the penalty box, that is. Now, at each end of the rink, we have another official, the goal judge. One sits behind each goal in a glass booth. When I, Peter Puck, cross the red goal line completely, the judge turns on a red light. The red light remains on for 12 seconds and is sometimes accompanied by a buzzer or siren, depending on the arena. The scorekeeper keeps score and the statistics, while the timekeeper keeps time. What else? Now for the players. A team has 17 skaters and two goalkeepers. A team puts six men on the ice. A center, right wing, left wing, right defense, left defense, and goaltender. And the same applies to the opposing team. Now the game is basically simple. The two teams attempt to zap me. Up there you have it. The fastest team sport in the whole world. It may be rough and tough on a puck, but love that hockey game. Everybody's favorite hockey expert, Dog Cherry. The greater one is in the house, and today I'm your principal of Hockey 101, and we're talking line changes. That's when the guys on the ice all rush off at the same time. Kind of looks like the last call at the ball. In hockey, unlike other sports, substitutions happen in the middle of the action. No timeouts. They call it on the fly. I like that. On the fly. I call it running into trap. The reason they have to do line changes so quickly is that hockey is tiring as hell. Shifts are usually only 30 to 45 seconds. Imagine if they had 30 second shifts at other jobs. Dudes would roll up five seconds late, leave five seconds early, and work for 20 seconds. Teams usually have four front lines, which are the offensive guys, and three defensive lines. Putting the best guys on the ice at the right times is one of the coach's main jobs. Do your job. You only want to do line changes when your team has the puck or you just clear it. The new player coming on the ice, he can't touch the puck or get involved in the play until the guy he is replacing is on the bench, physically. He'll get the bench a minor penalty for too many men on ice, which means something different from where I'm from. So to review, this is a good line change. Yes, this is a good line change. This is a bad line change. This is a really Really bad line change. Stop by Elliott! Rebound and score! And my shit is officially over. This has been another episode of Hockey 101 with your favorite dog, Cherry, a.k.a. 99 plus 2, the greater one. And let me say this, there's nothing like NHL playoff hockey. Let's go, you bitch. Ain't nothing like hockey, baby. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. 
Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Generals are losing, and it's really no surprise. As hard as they've worked, they haven't had their hands on the puck very much, and as a result, no offense. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Pats win the faceoff. Moves it to Brook. Look out, here they come on the attack. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. The Pats win the faceoff. And that banks off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Picard. From in close. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Hammers one. He scores. That's how you do it. Leadership to a T. The captain capitalizes. Not many goals scored on the slapper anymore. I guess just from the point on the power play. But to walk into one and hammer one is a good feeling. Rinchidis only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. He's From the slot! Too much congestion in front. Quick pass to Brooke. The Pats are on the attack. Broken up by Ennis. Off the clock, but the puck skips away. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Tulio. And that's broken up. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. A chance! Oh, just right in the net! From my angle, that looked like it was going in. He just misses that wide. Fires it with the stop. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. Oh, and the goalie beat but puts it wide! By not very much. This is a guy that knows how to score. He just misses the net by a narrow margin here. The Generals played along the boards. And the puck's kicked free. Regina's moving it up the ice. Here's a chance on the attack. Denied by the goaltender. Oshawa's got possession of the puck. Here they come. Takes a shot. Takes it right in the chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Puck possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Oshawa's got it, and they're on the attack. The Pats gain possession. Slides it over to Walker. Snaps it on net. That's a good scoring chance, too, James, but that puck's got to get on the net. He just missed. Play continues here. Tomasino's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Pats take possession here in the open ice. Takes a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Handles the puck at the point. Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. The Pats seem to be playing right to the final whistle here tonight, Ray. Yeah, everybody's having fun. Everybody's getting points, and they are steamrolling their opponent. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Here's a shot. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. Offense is 
his own face off and he wins the draw. Here's a short pass to Moore. And now it's grabbed by Tomasino. His reflexes on display tonight. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Shot gives them nothing in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Regina's got the puck along the wall. They've got numbers to his teammate. And that's broken up. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Cuts into the paint. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Walker. Quick feed to Stepien. Dives down low to block it. The General's ready to go on the attack. Let's see what the officials are calling. Picard's going off for interference. Oshawa's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's gonna be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Oshawa's got the puck behind the net. Quick pass over to McShane. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Puck clears the zone. Oshawa's got a hold of the puck now. The Generals move it in. Hammers it on net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. They move the puck out of harm's way. Oshawa's got it behind the net. Takes the feed. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Cuts to the paint. Puck battle along the boards. Picard's ready to go. Textbook poke check by Velati. The Generals run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. The centermen glide into position. The Generals will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stop that one. Ah, that's a good save there, James. It looks rather simple, but he gets the puck into the corner. No danger. Slides it across. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. The Pats win it. Here's a chance right in the slot. Turned aside with the glove by Papasakis. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Oshawa's got it in the defensive zone. Can't pull the trigger. Moves it quickly over to Picard. Makes a move in front. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Regina's won the faceoff. What a steal in his own end. Manages to hang on. Regina's got the puck in their own end. Moves into the slot. Here's a chance in front. Scores. The Generals have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scores out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Oshawa's got possession at center. Oh, a little cat burglar-like play with the stick. Nicely done. Grabbed along the board by Brooke. Here's a chance. Three on one. And they fail to go tape to tape. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. With the blast. What a stop as he puts out the fire. 
Oshawa's got the puck. What a wild offensive night this has been. The real crazy part is both teams are in on it. It's no runaway. Somebody is going to score a couple of goals before the end of this, and that's going to be the difference. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Dubinsky's got it across the line. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it to Tomasino. Driving right to the front. Makes the glove stop. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Dubinsky's won it in their own end. Regina's got a hold of the puck. Picked off in the offensive end. Here's a shot with the stop. Regina's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Oh, look at this chance. And they won't connect on that one. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, poor out. It stays out. Regina's latest chance results with a shot off the goalpost. Probably don't need it there, but the shooter would have liked it. Excellent stick work on the play. Regina's gained possession along the boards. The Pats have the puck now. Regina's got it from behind the net. Through center. Oshawa's got the puck along the boards. The Generals take it along the wing. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. Great reach with the stick by Tomasino. Now over to Picard. Quick shot. And he comes up with it. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the feed from the left side. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Taken by Picard. Takes the feed. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Made that stop. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Quick pass to Picard. Club save. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The Pats take possession off the faceoff. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Generals will play it in their own end. Nice zone entry from the left. Cuts to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Tomasino. Sonny's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here comes the call. Nah, nothing's going to derail the fun bunch now, James. I mean, this game is in their pocket, even though they've just taken a penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Power plays are going to go up and down. You're going to be successful some nights and others not so much. This is a great opportunity for them right now. The power play is here, and they've got to capitalize. Oshawa's got a hold of it along the wall. Inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot and makes the save. Trying to get it out of danger. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. And that's not to side with the stick by Moore. Regina's got possession of the puck. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. 
Grabs the puck here in their own end. And they manage to clear it. Oshawa's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Harrison's picking up steam. Big play inside the defensive zone. Too many bodies in the way. And they clear that puck. And great hustle to come up with the puck. Taken along the wall by Englund. The Generals gain possession in their own end. Drives it to the crease. Too much traffic in the lane. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Takes the shot. That's blocked. Puck scooped up by Harrison. He was locked in there. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Ennis. Puts it on net from the point. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Picked up along the boards by Moore. The Pats have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Tulio. Oshawa's ready to go on the attack. Back to the point it goes. Oh, it stops him again. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Great defensive stick work on the play. Nice zone entry on the left side. Sends a pass over. Answered the call there. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The setters will glide into the dot. Oshawa's won the draw. It is what every junior hockey team dreams of winning, the Memorial Cup. And that'll do it from ringside here. Well, they didn't spend a lot of time with the puck, but when they did, they made the most of it tonight, didn't they? It's tough to bring up your possession time if you go into the zone and score right away. I, they just dominated this game even though they didn't have the puck a lot. Hooray, Ferraro! My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night. Continue the conversation with Ray Ferraro. Okay, beyond just the team performance, how about the kid? Well, the fact that they won and he played uh, a major role in it is going to shine a pretty bright light on him with the with the scouting community. And uh, there's always two roads to this tournament. One is the team aspect. The other is those that are evaluating for the draft. And this kid did his draft status a world of good. He was sensational. Uh, that puts a bow on this year. Uh, thanks for this, man. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a blowout. So, like I predicted in the intro, our superstar player, Mikey Picard, gets one more goal than he did in the, the previous game. So, that fourth goal really meant a lot. And, uh, man, he just skyrocketed in the leaderboard, let me tell you. He's probably going to be like a number one, number two draft pick overall, and that's going to be super exciting to see. So, the Regina Pats are now going off into the finals for the Memorial Cup. Question is, who are they facing? The Moncton Wildcats or the Edmonton Oil Kings? Find out next episode, right here with VIP Hockey, Hockey Night in Canada. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good night.
Thanks for watching our video. If you haven't done so already, why don't you go and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more VIP videos, click somewhere there. And more content right there. See you next time. Peace.